With the new Liftcar SAL, you have purchased a practical, modular design sack truck with an unladen weight of only 16 kilograms. Insert the battery and your sack truck transforms into a versatile all-rounder. Climbing stairs with a battery and motor and on level ground as handy as a normal sack truck. Above all, thanks to the wide pneumatic tires as used on all conventional sack trucks for professional outdoor deliveries. With the SAL series, climbing steps and stairs has been reduced to the essential. The lift car pulls itself up onto the step above and lifts to only the necessary step height. When climbing down, the motor acts like an electric brake and the load is brought down without any bumping. It is also ideal for winding staircases and across tight landings. There is optimum protection against knocks to the support wheels thanks to a mechanically lubricated sliding hub. Additional electronic overload protection ensures that the load is not too heavy. With two speed settings, slow and fast, up to 48 steps per minute. In other words, a professional for professionals. For reliable and safe operation, please observe the following. Always ensure that there is no one beneath the load. Always secure the load with straps or other accessories. Never reach inside the lifting mechanism with your hands if the battery is in place. When transporting the lift car, always remove the battery. This prevents the lift car from being switched on accidentally and it makes it 4 kilograms lighter. There is a switch box on the left. This is the lift car's control box. Briefly press this push button to switch the lift car to ascent mode or descent mode. If the button is pressed for more than 3 seconds, the lift car switches off. If the LED shines green, the lift car is in ascent mode. In this mode, the button on the handlebar is active. The lifting mechanism operates when the push button on the handlebar is pressed and stops when released. If the LED flashes green, the lift car is in descent mode. Now the button on the handlebar is not active. If the LED stays red, the lift car is in descent mode and the support wheels move fast, half a second at the most, to the descend position. If the lift car is overloaded, the LED flashes red. It flashes for approximately 3 seconds and then goes out. Use the speed switch to select either high or low speed in ascent mode. In descent mode, the descending speed is permanently set to ensure optimum braking at all times. Low speed is advisable when learning how to use the lift car, for heavy loads and in awkward locations. When tipping a load, it is necessary to support the truck with your foot. The swing arm with the support wheels, a wheel or the drive unit may be used for this purpose. There is a safety flap to prevent your foot getting jammed in by the swing arm. If you press the lower part of the flap with your foot, all functions stop. The main switch is located on the snap-on battery. The entire power supply is switched off reliably by way of the main switch. The lift car can also be switched off by removing the battery or by pressing the ascend-descend button for longer than 3 seconds. And, after approximately 10 minutes without operation, the lift car switches off automatically. The snap-on battery is fitted by inserting it into a locking hook on the frame of the lift car. Gently push the battery forward to engage the hooks. The battery snaps in place. Switch the main switch on the battery to one and your lift car is ready for use. To remove the battery, simply lift it up and out vertically. It then disengages automatically. Let us now turn to actually going up and down stairs. This is how to ascend stairs. Insert the battery, set the main switch to 1, briefly press the ascend descend button until the LED indicator shines green continuously. The lift car is now in ascend mode. 
Pressing and holding the ascend button on the handle sets the swing arm with the support wheels in motion and lifts the lift car onto the next step. This continues until the button is released. It is important to make sure that, as soon as the main wheels land on the next tread, the lift car is immediately pulled back to touch the rise of the next step up. The best way is to pull the lift car constantly as it moves. In order to descend stairs, briefly press the Ascend Descent button until the LED indicator flashes green. The lift car is now in descend mode and the swing arm with the support wheels moves slowly and automatically to the descend position. The ascending button on the handle is now disabled. You can now move down the step and the lift car descends under control. When the main wheels land on the lower step, the swing arm with the support wheels automatically rotates to the descend position. During this short time, the LED indicator changes to constant red and the swing arm accelerates to top speed. Ensure the main wheels are kept against the rise until the LED indicator changes back to flashing green. This signals that the descent position has been reached and you can continue again. Just before the swing arm reaches the descent position, the support wheels touch the upper edge of the stair and lift the lift car some 10 mm. This is normal and is treated as an advanced signal by experienced users. You may in fact already advance as soon as the support wheels touch the floor. This results in a smooth, continuous, down the stairs motion. The lift car SAL is the only powered stair climber whereby the operator does not have to operate any switches or buttons when descending stairs. Please pay attention to the following when using the sack truck. When ascending stairs, the balance of the load changes as soon as the support wheels start lifting the load. Particularly low loads cause a forward movement. Users quickly become accustomed to this sudden shift and compensate by helping out and tilting the handle when lifting. Lowering backwards by 10 to 20 degrees before the support wheels start to lift reduces this sudden movement. The necessary friction for the swivel joint is obtained through multiple friction discs. The lock can be tightened by hand. Ensure it is well tightened for reliable and safe operation. Normally the battery is held securely in place. However, the battery may jump out if the lift car is moved backwards too quickly and strikes a step. Please observe the following on winding staircases. When climbing, the truck runs to the inside, so start on the outside. When going down, the truck runs to the outside, so start on the inside. If you do get stuck, simply move to the side by reversing. The battery cells within the battery housing are maintenance-free, sealed and rechargeable. Their lifetime largely depends on the charge-discharge cycles. It is possible, for example, to extract far more than 1,000 partial discharges from lead-acid batteries and over 200 times the full capacity if total discharge is avoided. For this reason, avoid total discharge. Recharge the battery as often as possible. Lead-acid batteries are subjected to self-discharge. For this reason, the snap-on battery should be recharged after a maximum of three weeks of disuse. Do not leave the battery discharged or half discharged. Always charge immediately after use. The optimum temperature for charging is 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. The charger is a high performance charger with two-step automatic operation and digital control technology. The first step is for rapid charging, the second for trickle charging. In order to test the battery, simply connect the charger to it without any mains voltage. 
The test result appears after approximately 9 seconds. To charge the battery, simply connect it up. The open circuit voltage of the battery is shown first. The current charging status is then shown by a flashing bar. Once the battery is fully charged, the charger switches over to trickle charging. Overcharging is not possible. The battery symbol on the display is four bars. Right, now it's time to start.